The Solvay process or ammonia soda process is the major industrial process for the production of sodium carbonate. The ammonia soda process was developed into its modern form by Ernest Solvay during the 1860s. The ingredients for this process are readily available and inexpensive. Salt brine and limestone. The worldwide production of soda ash in 2005 has been estimated at 42 billion kilograms which is more than 6 kilograms per year for each person on Earth. Solvay-based chemical plants now produce roughly three-quarters of this supply, with the remainder being mined from natural deposits. History The name, soda ash, is based on the principal historical method of obtaining alkali, which was by using water to extract it from the ashes of certain plants. Wood fires yielded potash and its predominant ingredient potassium carbonate, whereas the ashes from these special plants yielded soda ash and its predominant ingredient sodium carbonate. The word soda originally referred to certain plants that grow in salt marshes. It was discovered that the ashes of these plants yielded the useful alkali soda ash. The cultivation of such plants reached a particularly high state of development in the 18th century in Spain, where the plants are named barilla. The English word is barilla. The ashes of kelp also yield soda ash, and were the basis of an enormous 18th century industry in Scotland. Alkali was also mined from dry lake beds in Egypt. By the late 18th century these sources were insufficient to meet Europe's burgeoning demand for alkali for soap, textile, and glass industries. In 1791, the French physician Nicolas Leblanc developed a method to manufacture soda ash using salt, limestone, sulfuric acid, and coal. Although the Leblanc process came to dominate alkali production in the early 19th century, the expense of its inputs and its polluting byproducts made it apparent that it was far from an ideal solution. It has been reported that in 1811 French physicist Augustin Jean Fresnel discovered that sodium bicarbonate precipitates when carbon dioxide is bubbled through ammonia-containing brine, which is the chemical reaction central to the Solvay process. The discovery wasn't published, as has been noted by Desmond Riley. The story of the evolution of the ammonium soda process is an interesting example of the way in which a discovery can be made and then laid aside, and not applied for a considerable time afterwards. Serious consideration of this reaction as the basis of an industrial process dates from the British patent issued in 1834 to H. G. Diane and J. Henning. There were several attempts to reduce this reaction to industrial practice with varying success. In 1861, Belgian industrial chemist Ernest Solvay turned his attention to the problem. He was apparently largely unaware of the extensive earlier work. His solution, a 24 meters gas absorption tower in which carbon dioxide bubbled up through a descending flow of brine. This, together with efficient recovery and recycling of the ammonia, proved effective. By 1864 Solvay and his brother Alfred had acquired financial backing and constructed a plant in the Belgian town of Charlois. The new process proved more economical and less polluting than the Leblanc method, and its use spread. In 1874, the Solvays expanded their facilities with a new, larger plant at Nancy, France. In the same year, Ludwig Mon visited Solvay in Belgium and acquired rights to use the new technology. He and John Brunner formed the firm of Brunner, Mond & Co., and built a Solvay plant at Winnington, near Northwich, Cheshire, England. The facility began operating in 1874. Mond was instrumental in making the Solvay process of commercial success. He made several refinements between 1873 and 1880 that removed byproducts that could slow or halt the process. In 1884, the Solvay brothers licensed Americans William B. Cogswell and Roland Hazard to produce soda ash in the U.S. and formed a joint venture to build and operate a plant in Solvay, New York. By the 1890s, Solvay process plants produced the majority of the world's soda ash. 
In 1938, large deposits of the mineral trona were discovered near the Green River in Wyoming. Sodium carbonate can be mined from this source cheaper than it can be produced by the Solvay process. With the closing of the original Solvay, New York plant in 1986, there have been no Solvay-based plants operating in North America. Throughout the rest of the world the Solvay process remains the major source of soda ash. Chemistry. The Solvay process results in soda ash from brine and from limestone. The overall process is 2NaCl plus CACO3 Na2CO3 plus CaCl2. The actual implementation of this global overall reaction is intricate. A simplified description can be given using the four different interacting chemical reactions illustrated in the figure. In the first step in the process, carbon dioxide passes through a concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride and ammonia. NaCl plus CO2 plus NH3 plus H2O NaCO3 plus NH4Cl In industrial practice, the reaction is carried out by passing concentrated brine through through two towers. In the first, ammonia bubbles up through the brine and is absorbed by it. In the second, carbon dioxide bubbles up through the ammoniated brine, and sodium bicarbonate precipitates out of the solution. Note that, in a basic solution, NaCO3 is less water-soluble than sodium chloride. The ammonia buffers the solution at a basic pH. Without the ammonia, a hydrochloric acid byproduct would render the solution acidic and arrest the precipitation. The necessary ammonia catalyst for reaction is reclaimed in a later step, and relatively little ammonia is consumed. The carbon dioxide required for reaction is produced by heating of the limestone at 950 to 1100 degrees Celsius. The calcium carbonate in the limestone is partially converted to quick lime and carbon dioxide. CACO 3 co 2 plus cal The sodium bicarbonate that precipitates out in reaction is filtered out from the hot ammonium chloride solution, and the solution is then reacted with the quick lime left over from heating the limestone in step. 2NH4Cl plus Gau 2NH3 plus CaCl2 plus H2O Cal makes a strong basic solution. The ammonia from reaction is recycled back to the initial brine solution of reaction. The sodium bicarbonate precipitate from reaction is then converted to the final product, sodium carbonate, by calcination, producing water and carbon dioxide as byproducts. 2 NaCO3 Na2CO3 plus H2O plus CO2 The carbon dioxide from STEP is recovered for reuse in STEP. When properly designed and operated, a Solvay plant can reclaim almost all its ammonia, and consumes only small amounts of additional ammonia to make up for losses. The only major inputs to the Solvay process are salt, limestone and thermal energy, and its only major byproduct is calcium chloride, which is sold as road salt. In the modified Solvay process developed by Chinese chemist Hu Di Bang in 1930s, the first few steps are the same as the Solvay process. However, the CaCl2 is supplanted by ammonium chloride. Instead of treating the remaining solution with lime, carbon dioxide and ammonia are pumped into the solution. Then sodium chloride is added until the solution saturates at 40 degrees Celsius. Next, the solution is cooled to 10 degrees Celsius. Ammonium chloride precipitates and is removed by filtration, and the solution is recycled to produce more sodium carbonate, whose process eliminates the production of calcium chloride. The byproduct ammonium chloride can be refined, used as a fertilizer and may have greater commercial value than CaCl2, thus reducing the extent of waste beds. Additional details of the industrial implementation of this process are available in the report prepared for the European Soda Ash Producers Association. Uses of Soda Ash Soda ash is used in many industrial processes, and its production is sometimes used as an indicator of economic health. The principal current uses include glassmaking, 
More than half the worldwide production of soda ash is used to make glass. Bottle and window glass is made by melting a mixture of sodium carbonate, calcium carbonate and silica sand. Water treatment. Sodium carbonate is used to soften water. This is used both industrially and domestically, making soaps and detergents. Often sodium carbonate is used as a cheaper alternative to lye. Paper making. Sodium carbonate is used to make sodium bisulfite for the sulfite method of separating lignin from cellulose as a common alkali in many chemical factories because it is cheaper than NaOH and far safer to handle. Making sodium bicarbonate. Narco-3 is used in baking soda and in fire extinguishes. Although Narco-3 is itself an intermediate product of the Solvay process, the heating needed to remove the ammonia that contaminates it decomposes some Narco-3, making it more economic to react finish Na2CO3 with CO2. Removing sulfur dioxide from flue gases in power stations. This is becoming more common, especially where stations have to meet stringent emission controls. Byproducts and wastes. The principal byproduct of the Solvay process is calcium chloride in aqueous solution. The process has other waste and byproducts as well. Not all of the limestone that is calcined is converted to quicklime and carbon dioxide. The residual calcium carbonate and other components of the limestone become wastes. In addition, the salt brine used by the process is usually purified to remove magnesium and calcium ions, typically to form carbonates. Otherwise, these impurities would lead to scale in the various reaction vessels and towers. These carbonates are additional waste products. In inland plants, such as that in Solvay, New York, the byproducts have been deposited in waste beds. The weight of material deposited in these waste beds exceeded that of the soda ash produced by about 50%. These waste beds have led to water pollution, principally by calcium and chloride. The waste beds in Solvay, New York substantially increased the salinity in nearby Onondaga Lake which used to be among the most polluted lakes in the U.S., and is a superfund pollution site. As such waste beds age, they do begin to support plant communities which have been the subject of several scientific studies. At seaside locations, such as those at Saurashtra, Gujarat, India, the CaCl2 solution may be discharged directly into the sea, apparently without substantial environmental harm. The major concern is discharge location falls within the Marine National Park of Gulf of Kutch which serves as habitat for coral reefs, seagrass and seaweed community. At Osborne, South Australia, a settling pond is now used to remove 99% of the CaCl2 as the former discharge was silting up the shipping channel, carbon sequestration and the Solvay process. Variations in the Solvay process have been proposed for carbon sequestration. One idea is to react carbon dioxide, produced perhaps by the combustion of coal, to form solid carbonates that could be permanently stored, thus avoiding carbon dioxide emission into the atmosphere. Variations in the Solvay process have been proposed to convert carbon dioxide emissions into sodium carbonates but carbon sequestration by calcium or magnesium carbonates appears more promising. However, the amount of carbon dioxide exhausted by mankind as compared to the amount which can be used for carbon sequestration with calcium or magnesium is very low. Moreover, variation on the Solvay process will most probably add an additional energy step which will increase carbon dioxide emissions.